We may be six months out from the vote on Austin's new mayor and city council, but November's elections will be different than we've ever seen because the city government is changing shape. This will be the first time city council candidates will run in districts across the city as part of their 10-1 plan. The only person who will be elected citywide is the mayor. Angie Bevan joining us from City Hall with more on the people wanting to be the next mayor. Angie? Well, David Austin attorney Steve Adler just announced his candidacy for mayor here outside of Austin City Hall just moments ago. There was food, a band, and also a lot of supporters here to help be a part of it. Adler is joining four others in the run for Austin's next mayor. Current city council member Mike Martinez announced his candidacy last month. So did Austin businessman and musician Todd Phelps. And local tech entrepreneur Randall Stevens is running for mayor. Current Mayor Pro Tem Cheryl Cole has told KXAN she's strongly considering running for the seat. The elected mayor this November will be the leader of a different than ever before city government. That's because voters approved a new system with 10 city council members opposed to the six seats we currently have. Each member will represent a geographic region. Today, Adler said his run for mayor comes at a great time. When we have a new form of government and new leaders and new communities sitting at the table for the very first time, I think I bring the experience and the skill set necessary to make sure that we nail this. And of course, you'll be voting for one of the 10 city council seats this November as well. Starting tomorrow, candidates can pick up their information packet from the city clerk's office. And this Thursday, May 8th, is when that candidates, both for mayor and also city council, can start officially raising and soliciting money. For now, reporting live from Austin City Hall, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Well, this is the first time that council members are split into districts. It's tricky to learn who you can vote for. Online right now at KXCN.com, we've got a link to this interactive map. You can plug in your address at the top, then it'll tell you which of Austin's 10 new districts you live in. One of the people who wants to represent folks in the South Austin district kicking off her campaign Ann Kitchen, an Austin attorney who served one term in the Texas House of Representatives running for City District 5. I think we're facing some very serious challenges. The high cost of living, the rapid growth, the transportation gridlock, and this is an opportune time. With the new council, we've got the opportunity to represent all parts of Austin, to take on those very serious issues and come up with solutions together. With more people representing, Austin City Hall is getting a makeover the building. They began renovating last month. Second floor offices will be modified to make room for new council members. In June, workers will start in the chambers themselves, adding more seats up front. And in August, city council will begin to hold their meetings at the Travis County Commissioner's Court while the work at City Hall goes on.